Kashi is created in a certain form. The whole town was created as a place of knowing. So they created the city in seven layers. One has to penetrate through the seven layers. So if anybody wants to know, they go to Kashi. So seven layers of the city was created and the central point of Kashi is Manikarnik. where always at least one corpse will be burning, always. And it is the duty of every Indian to provide this fuel, <laughs> that always at least one corpse should be burning. And Another name for Kashi or Banaras is, it is also referred to as the Mahasmashana. That means it's a great cremation ground. Because people were looking at life and death as a means of rising beyond the elemental play. Rising beyond the elemental hive that's been created in the form of individual body and the cosmic body. This is why burning bodies in the public is for you to go beyond your biology. This is one thing that happens to people. If they attend a, a cremation or something, it need not be somebody very close to you. Let's say there's no great amount of emotion about it. Somebody that you know you went to attend a cremation or today evening you just go sit there, watch some strange body being burnt. You come back from a cremation, you will see there's no appetite to eat not because of emotions, simply because the body, body has its own realizations. So constantly one body at least is burning, usually if you go there at any time a few dozen bodies are burning. The point is, that a necessary atmosphere is created where those who die there and those who are burnt there, wherever they die, people in great hurry carry the body to Kashi. These days it's all going away, I'm saying. Right from ancient times it's been so, when people start aging, they move to Kashi because they want to die there. Now it has just become a belief. But then there was a live process of enlightenment where the city was constructed as a tool for enlightenment. seven layers, where if you go through this, by the time you reach graduation time, <laughs> where you go to Manikarnik, by then it is a realized being. Before he leaves the body, he is already risen beyond the play of fire elements. So one who has not realized the eternal nature, she must at least realize the mortal nature. 
Only when he realizes the mortal nature and confronts it, the longing to go beyond becomes a genuine force. Otherwise, all spiritual process is just a bad entertainment. Only when it sinks into every pore in your body, the longing to go beyond becomes genuine. Otherwise, it's just fleeting. This fleeting urges to do this or that is not going to take you beyond dimensions of life. They can create dreams, they can create fantasies, they will not create reality. If you have to create reality, not just a fantasy, then this has to sink into every pore in your body. This is a place where many great beings have left their body, they've left their imprint. For every dimension of life, they built a lingam. Some beyond all social acceptance. If we went to Karwat, they sawed you right through There are seventy to thousand temples. The city was constructed as seven layers. Where if you go through this, it is a realized being. Kashi is a phenomenal young man, like never before or never after.